So you just talk about which guys thought coming into this game, having to play the same team that you played you know, about a month ago, and how are you guys able to sort of set the tone early because you had such good offensive possessions right off the gate? Yeah, uh, we were the tough team to play. Um, you know, we all this entire program has a lot of respect for their their defense and how you know they they hold themselves and how they prepare and, and uh, you know the effort that they play with. Um, you know, so it was. Uh, we knew what they, um, you know, did against us last game, and and uh, we were unsure of, you know, if they're going to stick to the same game plan or change a little bit. So we kind of were ready for everything, and we just went out there, and, and the guys uh, took it one play at a time. How fun was it to play with Isaiah again? Yeah, um, I was just talking about outside, but you know, his his influence has been um, on this team the entire year. His leadership, you know, he's been uh, influencing us all the way through. Um, and then, yeah, just have him out there on the field, though. Um, you know, we've seen him every single day. He's been with us. So, um, you know, it was, it was great to have him out on the field, but he's been there, you know, the entire way for sure. And you guys broke your single season rushing record as a team that, uh, in this game. How, um, I, I guess just how would you describe this, how dangerous this offense is, especially with guys coming back now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I'm extremely proud of our offensive line for what they've done. Um, you know, there's been a, there was a lot of doubt at the beginning of the year, and, you know, they've, uh, they held that well, and, and we all knew that they were going to dominate this year, and, and uh, you know, that's what they're doing. So, um, you know, a lot of credit to those guys, and then we have a lot of guys in the entire offense um, that know how to make plays, and, and they do it every Saturday. Kind of going up 33 to 10, I think it was, and then they come storming back. What, what's going through your mind is that they're kind of like running their team in because they ran it like basically from the last 10 minutes of the game. Yeah, definitely. They came on strong at the end there. Um, Kind of the thought that you have is we got to buckle down. You know, when you when you get ahead by so much, you know, thanks to these guys on offense, you start to try to keep everything in front of you. But then you start dinking and dunking and hitting a few shots here and there. It's kind of like okay, now we got to adjust. We got to buckle down and play a little bit tighter defense. It's kind of a thought process. You came off the edge for a couple sacks. Is that a new new fold with Coach Daly calling the plays today? <laughs> no, no. I I think I just finally made a play. I've missed a few, <laughs> so I think that it's more so that. Speaking of Coach Daly, how pleased were you with his coordinating today? He did a phenomenal job, and that comes as no surprise. He's been prepared since I've been here to, to be in this position. And, and the preparation that we all put in and, and that, that I know he put in, seeing him in the office, and I know he was in there way later than I was. But, you know, I'd come in there after hours, and he'd still be working. And, and we knew we'd be incredibly prepared. He'd be incredibly prepared. So it comes as no surprise. But I'm extremely happy for him, and he did an incredible job. Speaking of the prep, what was it like this week knowing that you were playing a team that you just played about a month ago? Yeah, it, it's super interesting, right? Because you, you, you kind of have an idea of what their tendencies are. But in the back of your head, you're wondering, all right, well, how much are they going to change? And they definitely made some adjustments, some really good adjustments that we had to also make our own adjustments for. But, you know, it's interesting, right? Because you're, you're, you're preparing that whole week thinking, all right, well, are they going to do similar things or a little bit different? And it's a combination of both, and they did a really good job of that. And so that's kind of the thought process when you're watching film again and preparing for that same team. What were some of the biggest adjustments that you guys saw? I think um, they came out, they came out and ran, you know, a fair amount of RPO like we thought they would. But they, you know, since since they played us, they've been running a lot more outside zone, which we did, which we were expecting, but we didn't know necessarily how much. And they and they run that really well. They've got great backs, so. And then with Bronson going out, how much did that affect you guys in the second half? Because I'm sure you weren't really game planning for that second quarterback. Yeah, definitely. It didn't change too much. You know, their their motto is we're going to run the ball, right? And they, they continued to do that. And they so it didn't really change our game plan up too much. Yeah. Last question. Tommy, you guys, you guys uh, got, got into the red zone a whole bunch. Couldn't really finish. Had to settle for three a whole bunch of times. What was the difference then in sort of punching it in? How important do you think that was? Um, could you say that again? Yeah. yeah, yeah how important was it just to be able to finish drives with touchdowns instead of three pointers to kind of bridge the gap? Yeah, um, absolutely. In every football game, you want to count by sevens, not by threes. So um, we got to clear that up. We got to take care of business. I think it was, we got behind the sticks there early on in a lot of those um, possessions down at, towards the red zone, and that ultimately, um, you know, I was one of the reasons why we were struggling uh, to finish drives. But um, now we certainly have to clean that up.